It's Chantal Eyre who gets control of a puck. She's it's her first season at elite league level, having scored a lot of goals for the Southern Amazons the last couple of years. Steph Towns will control. Dangles right in front of her as the uh, Beacons will look to try and dig out. Chantal Eyre will control. Sort of a half spinner armor there from the Isle of Wight born forward. It's by Kelly Jameson. Chantal Eyre gathers, fires. Uh, they'll enter the zone once again. Nice kick save by Megan Craig again as Isabel Whiteley tests her from distance. She'll control beyond the back of the net. It's going to be a busy evening for Isabel doing the majority. Kind of hard, so it's good to see. There you go. <laughs> as uh, Chantal Eyre steals a puck in, will break out. Seth Towns comes across. Gets enough on that to direct the pass. Collected by Estelle Ip. Swift pass out wide to Chantal Eyre, who will advance forward. Been the leading scorer for the Southern Amazons on each of the last two seasons. I believe it was uh, well in excess of 50 points over uh, something like 30 games. But, uh, taking the challenge of playing in the Elite League this year, and it'll be Chantal who picks up that loose puck. Work back, shot comes through from Chantal Air, who was slightly behind her. She had to snatch at it, but uh, got a quick release out of that wrist shot all the same. Yeah, I mean, again, it's, you know, Megan being aware of what's going on, but unfortunately the Beacons kind of took their eyes. To Beth Mill, collected, well, got a piece of it there, was uh, Steph Town Chantal Air will enter the zone, full of a stick there from Emily Look. Oh, took a massive deflection. Megan Gray gets, I think she's got a hold of it, the lights come on, but I think the whistle had well gone by that. Had uh, much or many chances since that, uh, that breakaway, really, that's 2 on 0. Chantal Air switches the play out wide right for Estelle Ip. Gathered by Steph Towns, oh, it was almost picked off there by Chantal, who ready to play well. Puck come, come back through for Megan Gray, she'll cover it. Dancing through the low slot there. Storm looking to break out. Chantal Air will gather. Caitlin Stocks gets a skate on that. But they're going to say that was offside. I must admit I didn't get a good look at that one, but it must have been close. In the zone. Yeah. yeah. A minute 42 to go in this second period. Isabel Whiteley fires from the point. Well saved. Well, that's where she got the uh, where they got their goal from, wasn't it? From a similar position from distance. That's it. And they're, they're putting by. We're, we're getting gassed up here. As, um, Joking aside, as Chantal Air works it back to Jazz Wilson. Yeah, puts a marker down as uh, the fast skating Estelle Ip will break out. Chantal Air gathers, makes it beyond the net. Looking for a passing option. Isabel Whiteley fired through traffic. Chantal Air gathers off the boards on the far side. Nice drag back from her. Works back loose to Chantal Air. She'll not carry through the neutral zone. Estelle Ip will help her out here. As it just goes across the face of goal. Beacons B are in action next Saturday, though. They've got a couple of games coming up over the next few weeks. They're taking on the Grimsby Wolves. So, in, uh, so please do join us for that one as the uh, Beacons go. Delta your game, which they clearly have. They have, yeah. As uh, These are the best two teams in the country. Um, both games against them in recent weeks. It's taken a GB International, senior GB International. It's not going to carry in less than two minutes to go. To Estelle Ip out wide to Chantal Air. Back to Estelle Ip. Push out into the corner. Nice cutback by Chantal Air. McLean scores. And that makes it 8 3. It was well worked team goal, that. Yeah, and they took advantage of the, the missed pass there by the Beacons. 